Brief tonight, um, it's been a, a great pre-season for us, uh, a strong preparation from, from all the, the players, um, the coaches and the staff at the, um, in the football program have been looking uh, for better, exploring and testing some things through pre-season, some that we'll take with us and, and some that we've learned uh, the hard way that they're probably not going to work for us, but that's what um, an open mind is all about, to explore our capabilities and see what is going to take us um, a couple of steps further than we've been able to get in the last couple of years. The, um, the engagement from the players has been first class. The leadership um, within the playing group is as strong as it's ever been. Um, the six-man leadership, senior leadership group and, and the seven-man emerging leadership group underneath that are supported by a group of players who are willing to stand up and bring the best of themselves and lead at any given moment. Um, you know, we're never more exemplified by you know, the three draftees that came in. Jay Rantel comes in and wins the 2K immediately by bringing his endurance strengths to the table and, and setting the bar even higher than it was before he walked in the door. Trent Bianco with his skills and his vision um, immediately on jumping into 18 v 18, um, full groundwork, and, um, and Trey Rusco with, with a, a bubbly personality, um, the ability to, um, to try it on and to give his best, and when he makes a blue, he leaves that in the past, and, and then he executes 10 seconds later with the, same, uh, with the same challenge in front of him. So those three young blokes made, a, made an impression immediately on um, arriving here. And it's an example of, um, of what we like to celebrate with our people, you know, whether, whether they be the players or, or staff, is, um, is the strengths that we bring to the table and, and we try and um, uh, emphasise the fact that at any point in time, we're all going to be important uh, in this journey that is going to have its peaks and troughs. Uh, on that, um, you know, Rob was talking about the challenges that the netball program is facing. Um, at the moment, we have a really healthy list um, but inevitably, as we know um, journeys go, we will have some real challenges as the year progresses. Um, there will be plenty of things outside of our control um, and some of them quite exceptional um, given the situation with the virus um, and what could potentially uh, impact our football season, our reality in terms of what match day looks like. Um, potentially players being asked to, um, to be home and isolate themselves at times. Um, we, could have, we could have players not available um, to play uh, any given weekend um, over the early part of the season, potentially. So for us, it's, it's the depth of a squad. We're very, we have great, uh, great depth, we have great experience. Um, all of our players know that they can step up and perform a role at the senior at senior level, and that and we largely don't miss a beat. So we are we see ourselves with a real squad mentality. Um, the best team wins any given week. The best 22, the best team wins any given week, and and, and gets the points. Uh, the best club and the best lists um, and the best uh, leadership. Uh, the 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 um, program that can get the best out of its people is the team that ultimately wins titles, wins flags and wins cups. And that's our aspiration in 2020. Um, and we are ready for the challenges that come. We're ready to perform at our best. We're ready to challenge our, our limits and um, go get it. And that's, um, that's what we intend to do. Um, thanks very much for the support of everyone and the understanding tonight um, in what is a very different um, environment for us. We're all we're all newbies in, uh, in, in what we're going to face over the next couple of months at least. Um, but we, uh, we feel the love and support from, from over the fence, um, even when it's coming through the, uh, potentially through the TV screens, which, which might be a reality for us. Um, yeah, the, the Magpie Army, um, the support of all of you, um, you know, our, our, our members and support is, is huge comparative to a lot of, um, a lot of teams in the AFL um, and our players, I think, embrace that as, as well as they ever have. Um, we know that we don't just represent ourselves when we take the park. We represent um, you know, family and friends, the people that have supported each of us to get to these, um, you know, this privileged position that we're in.
um, and this opportunity to live our dreams um, you know, through the Collingwood Football Club. We're very fortunate to do so and to have such support um, in and around us is, um, is, uh, is worth pinching ourselves about because we're very, we're very fortunate to live this reality and we want to make the most of it. Um, all the best for season 2020 for all of you guys. Um, I hope you have a great year. I hope that you're able to, to live some very positive experiences through your football club, through your football team. Um, and we want to share this journey with you as much as we possibly can. So let's make it a good one. Cheers.